recognized for five minutes. I thank the speaker for the time. And I rise tonight to recognize a great organization that has helped so many disabled individuals, the Walkabout Foundation. This uh, terrific organization was founded by siblings Luis and Carolina Gonzalez Bunster. Sixteen years ago, when he was 18 years old, Luis was in a car accident that left him paralyzed from the chest down. Luis was not going to allow this tragedy to define him nor limit his ability to lead a full life. Just a few months after his accident, Luis moved to South Florida and enrolled at my alma mater, the University of Miami. Soon after, Luis started driving again and began to live on his own. Leading an active lifestyle, which included being an avid swimmer, Luis took advantage of the University of Miami's extensive and accessible facilities. However, during a trip to the Connecticut YMCA a couple of years ago, Luis could not access the indoor swimming pool. So Luis and Carolina decided to take action. Not only did they promote awareness of paralysis and disabilities in this community, but they also made the Connecticut YMCA accessible for all the disabled. Out of this victory, the Walkabout Foundation was born. The Walkabout Foundation's mission is twofold. First, to actively pursue a cure for paralysis by helping fund research programs. And second, to provide wheelchairs to those who cannot afford one. The Foundation's unique efforts have garnered widespread support and attention. What makes the Walkabout Foundation singular is its drive to make sure that disabled individuals continue to lead full and active lives. This is due to Luis's character and unyielding belief that people should not be victims of their circumstances. The Walkabout Foundation has not limited its services and generosity to just our nation. Last month, the foundation provided 200 wheelchairs to Haiti, in addition to the 400 they had already donated last year. As someone who has seen the devastation and the human tragedy that has befallen the poor island nation of Haiti since last year's tragic earthquake, I know the impact and benefit that the efforts of Luis and Carolina will bring to help the lives of so many disabled individuals in Haiti. They have also provided 100 wheelchairs to the Dominican Republic. These wheelchairs will go to children, teenagers, and adults afflicted by paralysis, polio, cerebral palsy, muscular dystrophy, as well as amputees. I commend Luis, Carolina, and their Walkabout Foundation for all that they do. They are truly an inspiration for all. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back.